Hi, everyone, and welcome to Soul Station. In this episode, we are going thrifting, and today my daughter and my grandsons are with me, and we decided to go to Billings, and our first stop on the way to Billings was Big Timber. There is this community thrift shop that I've been wanting to go to, so let's go inside and check it out. I usually go thrifting once a week and my favorite day to go is usually on Tuesdays. Because I do vintage markets, I'm always looking for things that I can fix up or repurpose, paint, or things that just fit my style and would look good in my booth that I can resell. It's kind of like seeking for treasures and you just never know what you're going to find. Whenever I'm thrifting, I remind myself that I should be seeking God, you know, I should be seeking His kingdom and all these other things will be added. Is this all the toys, Nina? No, this is not the toys. We are in Billings, Montana going thrifting. I came here about two months ago and this was my favorite thrift store in Billings. So we're back and we're gonna see what kind of treasures we can find. When I think about the kingdom of God, I think about the parables that Jesus told us about seeking the kingdom of heaven and all the things that are in the kingdom. I used to think that God was like distant, you know, and far off. And the more that I've been reading his word, I'm reading the truth and finding out that God is actually right here with us. And when you seek his kingdom, the kingdom is within us. That's what he says. It's amazing that you can go anywhere, do anything, and when you just remind yourself, take a minute and say, you know what, God is with me. His kingdom is within me. That will change the way that you see your circumstances, your life, and everything around you. Okay, at the Goodwill, maybe we'll find some treasures in here. What do you think, Rockford? Treasures in here? <laughs> We had so much fun thrifting. It was such a great time to be thrifting with my daughter and my grandsons. And I found some really great stuff, so I'm excited to show you everything that I have here. Okay, let's start on this side of the table. The first thing I'll show you is this basket bag that I got. I always pick these up whenever I find them because they are so cute to hang on a hook or a peg in your house by your door or just about anywhere and I love how they look with flowers hanging out of them. I use them a lot for staging or um, I also use them in the summertime going to the farmers markets. This was only a dollar. Okay this next item look at this it is a such a pretty lamp. This is like a wall sconce that you hang on the wall and it's vintage it has a mirrored back and it plugs in. I love the old fashioned pull. I don't know about the lampshade. Uh, this just goes right onto the bulb. So I could, you know, redo the fabric on here. Although I like the neutral color. Anyways, it's so pretty. I just love it. I don't know where I'll put it in the house yet because we're not done with the house and because it's a plug-in. So uh, if I wanted to, you know, 
hardwire it, I could have Jess rewire this and he might do that for me if I find a good spot for it. This was only $12. Okay, this next little item I got, this was $5 for this little English teacup. And I have another one just like this. And so I had to get this one. So now that I have two, I've got a pair. It was $5, it's a little more than I would pay for just a teacup without the saucer. But um, I am collecting these because I have another one. So I'm just gonna see the more I find, you never know. The next item I got were these cute little sheep candle holders. These were a dollar each and I think they are so cute and whimsical and they would just be cute on a shelf, on a table, wherever. And then I have a set of these vintage plates here and they're so pretty. I love the white, the creamy white background. They just would go with anything. So. Anyways, these are uh, Homer Laughlin and made in the USA. They were $10 for a set of eight. Okay, these next items, these are candle sconce holders for the wall, obviously. Um, I actually found a couple of these when I started doing vintage markets, so like two years ago, I think, and gave them a makeover and they sold at my market. And so when I saw these, I knew that I could do the same thing with these. I think they're really cute when you redo them with some white paint and make them look shabby chic. So I had to pick these up. They just look really pretty on the wall. And I found some more linens. This is a really pretty tablecloth with different flowers and the flower names all over them. And then it has this really pretty uh, embroidered edge in a contrasting green. Just a beautiful tablecloth with all these different flowers and the names of them. And there are butterflies and dragonflies all over it. And I just thought that is so pretty. I think I paid $2 for it. This is just a, a wire wreath. Um, I think I only paid a dollar for this, but this is really great to stick your pictures in or cards or postcards or just about anything. You could use this as a base to make a wreath too. This is just a harvest type basket that's painted white, but these, these are really nice to have as an accent somewhere in your home too, or even outside in your garden, on your fence. I think they look really cute too. So I like to put wreaths inside of them. That always looks really nice. I found a couple of mirrors. They were $1.25 each. And these, again, just another nice accent for your home somewhere. Um, I like the color of them, although it's just a little bit too brassy for me. So I'm, yeah, I think I might actually paint them and then bring some of this gold back through the paint as an accent. And then this is just a metal bowl on a pedestal. And this, you know, you can use this for so many things, but what I was thinking I'd like to do with it is put a liner, like one of those coconut grass liners in it and use it out on the porch as a um, flower container. So I might do that with that. Moving on to this, this is uh, such a pretty frame. I got it just for the frame. I don't know, I don't remember how much I paid for it. I think it was only like $2. The artwork itself is maybe just a little bit too 90s country for me so i might change that up but i love the frame so for two dollars i had to pick that up and then i got this at the thrift store uh, in big timber that we went to and these match and i just really liked the patina on these and that they are matching and it says that they are made in italy i paid four dollars for each of them and they just have such a pretty cottage look to them and I know they would look great on a wall. There's so many things that I like whenever I'm thrifting and I think, oh, I should keep that, but you know, you just can't keep everything. So especially when our house isn't done and I don't have a place to hang these things. So if I end up selling it at the market, I might end up kicking myself for not keeping some of this stuff, but I know it'll bless somebody. This is another painting or artwork that I got. Uh, it was $8. I just thought it was really pretty and would look really good. Uh, with a collage of other 
artwork and I just love the vintage flower look on it. It's very cottage looking to me. And this, you guys, this is my favorite find and I'm definitely going to keep this for our house. This was $15 and I am not going to do anything with it. I really, really like how it is. It has the just the most serene, beautiful picture of sheep grazing in a pasture of wildflowers and I just love it. It's so pretty. So I was really happy when I found this. Okay, and this is just a, a really pretty old fashioned tray that's mirrored. It has a gold edge, scalloped edge to it. And this is something that is just so pretty in a bathroom or a bedroom. This was just $2 and I got this little potted floral arrangement and I could paint the um, pot that it's in but I kind of like the way that it is actually so I think I'm gonna leave this just as it is this was two dollars and uh, I think that's just such a pretty accent anywhere in the home this was interesting I've never seen a a hand carved goose like this um, just the way that its neck is and its wood now this was only two dollars and it has three candles in it and this rattan um, little container. And I thought even if I take the candles out and put something else in here, this is a great buy. And to have these extra candles just around the house, you never know when you might need them, but also um, just a sweet little um, container that you can use anywhere. And then I have one last frame here that I picked up. This was also $2, and while I don't love the color, I love the detail on the frame, and I love this oval um, opening right here, and so I'm going to find some artwork for this, and then I'll be painting this frame. I think it's going to look really pretty when I'm done with it. And then this basket here that I picked up, I, you know, whenever I can find a basket like this at the thrift store that's not damaged, I definitely grab these because they're so useful for just about anything, whether I use them at home or in the market. And this was uh, only $3. So let's go back and I'll show you, I'll give you a close up of everything that I've got here. Are there any items here that you would have picked up or maybe some that you don't like at all and you wouldn't have picked up? I'm curious to know, what are your favorites? Whenever we're out there thrifting and seeking for treasures, I hope you're encouraged to remind yourself that the kingdom of God is within you when you're a believer. And let's remember that we have that light within us and so not only are we seeking for treasures and seeking for things, but what can we give away? because we're like these earthen vessels that have treasure within us, you know, we're the light. So what can we do to bless somebody else while we're out and about? Thank you so much for watching and for liking and subscribing on my videos. I appreciate you guys so much.